it is keyed all the way around. This is a repo. It is a 2019 Challenger and it's only got 9,000 miles on it. Repo, repo. We have one, two, three, four, five full rows of bank repos at this auction. All right, here's a 2019 Toyota Tacoma that got repoed. It's only got 50,000 miles on it. There's Camaro, there's a Corvette, nice Tacoma. All right, so today we're doing something a little bit differently. I uh, brought you to actually a massive auction. So you can see this, I'm doing this, badly um so you see this whole massive facility this is a very large auction that we're at today and the reason i wanted to come here today is because they run a lot of bank cars here at this auction and what do we know bank cars are they're they're repos and they're not just your run-of-the-mill buy here pay here uh, subprime lending repos these are these are actually your your prime your prime borrowers that uh, are getting their cars they're they're defaulting on their loans and they're getting their cars snatched up by these by these larger banks and I want to go in here and see the amount that they're actually running through these lanes and I wanted to see the quality and what types of cars are actually getting repoed by these big banks that's what we're going to do today so let's go inside all right so check this out this is like uh, almost new malibu um there's a nice mercedes here um so these nice cars that are getting ran through this auction they're they're wells fargo cars and uh, oh my goodness check this out this one i think new was going to get repoed before uh <laughs> before it went oh my goodness all right look at all this this is crazy this is a repo it is a 2019 challenger and it's only got 9,000 miles on it. It is keyed all the way around. And they did a good job of it too. Look at all of that. So this is a Wells Fargo car. It is absolutely a repo. Somebody keyed the crap out of this car. So this is someone who uh, knew that they were gonna get their car repoed and uh, they just decided to destroy it before the, the bank came and got it. Let's see, yep, that's also Wells Fargo. So we know that all of these cars are repos if they have banks on it, more Wells Fargo. This is a nice car. Um, actually, let's see what it is. I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked on here, but this is blowing me away. It's a 2020 Buick. Um, and we know that all these cars are repos that have these bank stickers on them because banks are not getting in trade-ins. They're not taking in leases these uh, banks they're not um, they're not buying cars themselves to resell all these cars are are cars that look at this all these cars are cars that were were bought and were um, financed through Wells Fargo or these other big banks and the people couldn't they couldn't come up with the payments on them so the banks go and repossess these vehicles and they take them to auction because they're not going to retail them there's no there's no dealership that these banks take these cars to to retail they want out of them they want out of these loans they want out of these vehicles so they take them to these auctions and they dump them to dealers so they can get out of them all right here's a 2019 toyota tacoma that got repoed it's only got 50,000 miles on it i mean check this out this is a 2019 challenger looks absolutely great it's got 82,000 miles but this is a prime example of a car that someone they thought they could afford this car and they thought they could afford the monthly payments but you know what it's a 2019 so they bought it probably last year bought it for some obscene amount from whatever dealer they bought it from got it financed from Wells Fargo and then whatever happened either they just bit off more than they could chew and they couldn't afford the payments when they really knew they couldn't afford the payments when they went in to go get the loan but they were just say you know what i want this car i can just make it happen or um what everybody's going through right now just inflation so the price of everything went up price of housing went up price of food and together with that car payment they just couldn't make it happen so they just let their car go back nice tacoma this one is a 2017, it's got 115,000 miles. That one got repoed, uh, Cadillac here. Um, we got some nice, uh, here's a nice F-150. It's got 151,000 miles of higher mileage, but uh, this is the kind of stuff that's getting repoed. Mercedes, another F-150. Um, we got a nice Honda Accord here. It's got 68,000 miles. This Honda Accord is a 2017. So I think we're gonna see a lot of this same, uh, the, the type of 
year that's coming through anywhere from like 2016 up to 2021, 22 that I'm seeing. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna walk the lot a little bit more and say, oh, you know what? We'll look right here. I got some more chargers, challengers. 150,000, there's two of them right here. Let's see who's, yep, more Wells Fargo cars. Both of these, Wells Fargo. All right, so now just to show you the scale, this whole row, if I'm getting it completely behind me, is all Capital One, but this row all right here going all the way down, that's all Wells Fargo, and then we walk through this row, and then there's another row the same size, and I'll just lift you up so we don't have to walk, but all over there, that's all Wells Fargo too, so all big bank and three full rows of cars that are all going to be repos. All right, here's a 2019 Ram 1500 that got repoed, but I, the bigger point is I actually found another whole row of Capital One cars. So this whole row all the way down to the end of there, all Capital One, more bank repos. That's not good. All right, check it out. A whole another row of Capital One cars. So I'm gonna go keep going this way and see how far it goes down. Uh, but so uh, I wanted to see this one right here. Um, it is a 2013 Challenger, 170,000 miles. We're seeing a lot of Challengers, a lot of Chargers getting repoed, um, a lot of Dodge. So uh, just stuff that's losing its value very quickly in the Stellantis brand is, uh, is what I'm seeing a ton, a absolute ton of coming through these, uh, these bank repos. And uh, one main financial, let's see here, one main, one main. There's another Ram, there you go. And here's a nice Toyota, my goodness. 29,000 miles, Woo. All right, now, so just to recap, we have one, two, three, four, five full rows of bank repos at this auction. Uh-oh. All right, so this is just gonna be the Charger and the Challenger video. I mean, they're literally everywhere here. So not only are you gonna get all your bank repos here, you're gonna get what I would call your, uh, your normal, your normal repos, uh, the ones that are smashed up. These are the more subprime. They're the buy here, pay here dealers, the little dealers you see on the side of the road that have the 795 down, the 995 down, and uh, somebody misses a payment and they go pick up their car. Um, we see this all the time. We're seeing it way more often now, uh, but this is typically what we'll see. So we have all these kind of repos here too, on top of the bank repo. So it's going to add some uh, inventory to the system. It's still not going to be enough to, um, to offset the lack of trade-ins that we're getting from these new car dealers, but it should give us at least some downward pressure on the market as we're seeing all these repos stack up here behind me. So here's the problem. It's normal for us to see buy here, pay here lots, all this subprime lending, us to see repos like that throughout the year. Now we're seeing a way more of them now, but it's, it's normal to see a lot of those repos come through auction. What's not normal for us to see is a lot of these big bank repos come through these auctions. That's not good for our economy because these are, these are people who got approved for loans. These are people that these banks who vet the people that they're loaning these money to that they were saying, yeah, these people can't afford these loans. They can afford to buy these cars. And we're seeing just massive amounts of defaults. We're seeing massive amounts of these uh, repos come through these auctions from these big banks in these nicer cars. So they haven't had them for very long because a lot of these cars are 2019s or 2020s or 2021s. So this doesn't, it just doesn't stack up well for our economy when these people who the bank said should be able to get these loans and should be able to pay for these loans are no longer able to pay for them so much so that the banks are having to uh, get their cars back. And over the last few months, um, I've read lots of things saying that the banks were actually working with these customers because the banks don't want these cars back. These customers paid way too much for these cars and the banks know that they're worth way less right now than what these customers paid. And a lot of these uh, vehicles, the amount of equity that were in them, these customers were underwater. So the banks are actually underwater in them now when they have to take them back. So the banks were actually working with a lot of these customers um, before they had to take them back. And even with the banks extending loans and offering some forgiveness on some of these payments, these customers still lost these cars. So it's, it's, it doesn't look good for, uh, for our economy going forward when you see this amount of repos coming through the system. Um, just because, I mean, what's next? If people aren't, aren't uh, able to afford their cars, the next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna cut down on a lot of their spending and their credit card payments, their credit card uh, usage is going to go way up. 
and at some point all that credit gets tapped out and then they just can't spend any money anymore and that's when you start seeing a big downturn in the economy is when people start losing their cars when they can't go out to eat when they can't go buy things that they just want and don't necessarily need um, that's when you get big time recession just to show you because um, i haven't been to this auction and showed you uh, this auction very much on my channel just to show you how it works all these cars out here um, they're all going to be uh, sold. This is, a, this is a very big lot. They've a, they're actually running one, two, three, four. I think they're running five lanes and they goes through this massive building right here into a garage and then they spit out on the other side. So a lot of you ask me if I get to actually drive these cars at auction. Most auctions you don't, but there's some auctions that actually have a test track like this. See this guy ripping down? There you go. Boom. So. <laughs> Um, some auctions they do have test tracks where we actually get to run through the gears of the car like this one does. This is a bigger auction so they're going to have the opportunity to be able to uh, have a bigger budget to have something like this where their insurance actually allows uh, dealers to test drive their phone, test drive these cars to actually get them up to speed to go through all the gears to make sure uh, the motor, transmission, everything checks out good for them. So, that's a question a lot of you ask, and yeah, some of these auctions, we do have the opportunity to be able to do that. There, we'll go, win another one. Maybe I did that one good this time, and we can actually do the little edit thing. Maybe not, though. All right, so this might just become the Charger and the Challenger episode. I mean, the episode, video, whatever you want to call it. This, this is stupid. I'm making videos on YouTube. Let's start that over. Hopefully the mic's still sounding good because I got wind blowing directly in my face. So hopefully I don't have to trash this footage. Um, but um, 